Hello, thanks for checking the progress of my passion project. This project is aimed at building an animation mechanism that can provide seamless transition between each animation state and bring every possible humanoid motion into the game. In this video, I'm going to show you the performance of my mechanism working on the basic humanoid locomotion and parkour. What you're looking at is the main character of this demo. Let us call him Shank. To make Shank more interactive with his surroundings, I apply inverse kinematic on two of his body parts. The first body part is his neck. So when we are looking at Shank in his face, Shank will look us back. When we are behind Shank, Shank will look the way where we are looking at. The second body part is his leg. When Shanky is standing on a hill, the position and rotation of his foot and knee will be overwritten by inverse kinematic, so his foot will be better aligned with the ground instead of this. The basic movement is consisted by three state machine, walking, running, and jogging. My mechanism always provides transition between those states with spiriting, slowing down, and turning animations. The turning animations also depends on how sharp and fast Shank likely to turn. If Shank intends to make a sharp turn while he's running, he will slightly slip down to the ground. If Shank intends to inverse his moving direction, he will have to make a sudden stop and then sprint with a full speed again. Dodging is very straightforward. When Shank is running into an obstacle, he will dodge to its side if someone is pressing down Q or E. If Q or E is double pressed, Shank will make a quick spin, which gives you more time to change the dodging direction before Shank hit on the obstacles. Parkour Mechanum allows Shank to jump over the obstacles in front of him. This is for now the only size in height that Shen can jump through it. This issue will be revised in the next stage. As for now, the parkour mechanism has the following features. Shen can jump over the obstacle with different jumping style depends on the distance between Shen and the obstacle when the parkour button is pressed. When parkour animation is triggered, Shen's moving direction will be automatically aligned perpendicularly to the obstacles. When Shank is landing, he can change the landing direction as he wants without being restricted to the root motion within the animations. When there are two obstacles are very close to each other, Shank can make a sequential jump through both of them without being interrupted if he runs the obstacle within predetermined angle. The sequential jumping style is also depending on how far those obstacles are away from each other and the distance between them and Shank when the Pokemon button is pressed. Shank can also determine the sequential jump by changing his moving direction or releasing the Pokemon button during the sequential jump. These features provide Shank with advantages on speed for chasing his target in the future game of this project. Now let us relax and see how this mechanism works for the game. Thanks for watching.